perfect, dude. Look, run as fast as you can and then slide on those knee pads. That's it. Hey, good job. Okay? We're gonna make you a, a superhero today, okay? Put the, to put the toes right here, okay? And then I bend down, drop to my knees and lean back. Go ahead. Good. Toes over the edge, remember to bend down. Good, drop your knees, lean back. Good, perfect. Be careful though, when you get to the bottom, make sure your butt touches your heels so that you can lean back. Standing on the coping, make sure my toes are over the edge, okay? Toes are over the edge, and I start to bend my knees. So my, my knees drop out, and then I lean back and relax. Perfect. Toes over the edge. Remember, drop, and you want your butt to touch your heels when you slide. Perfect. Yep. And then look, if you need to, what you do is you, 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 shove, your, you shove your thumbs in the sides, and you pull your knee pads up. Shove your thumbs in the sides here, and pull your knee pads up so they cover back over top of your knees. Because sometimes after you slide, they'll slide down a little bit. It's bigger, huh? So look at me. I put, my, I put my toes over the edge again. I start to bend down and I want my knees to touch as high as I can in the top of the ramp. So look. And look, as I relax, I slide back and my butt's touching my heels. That way I don't flip forward and onto my hands. Deep breath and then drop in. One, two, three, to the knees. Perfect. See, so once you do it one time, you're like, oh, it's not so bad. Yeah, the whole thing is learning to relax. Good. Perfect, dude. Remember the toes, bending down. Drop to the knees and lean back as you slide. Perfect, yep. Watch how I do this. I sit on the edge, okay? Scoot to the edge, scoot to the edge. Good, now look what I do with my legs. Pull my legs up to the sides, okay? And then I'm gonna push off, look at my hands. Hands on the coping, I push off and onto my knee pad. Push, better, good. Use those arms to push out a little bit harder. Hold it like a bar. And then you can you can lean in and then push off of the bar. Good, almost, almost. Yep. So you got to get to those knee pads. Yeah, anytime. Yes, Avi. Hey. And and the big thing with this is committing to hopping out off of the coping. Otherwise, you'll fall and slide on your hip. Push off and onto my knee pads. Push off and onto the knee pads. Ready? One, two, three. Big hop. That's it. Good job. One. One, two, three, big hop. Good. Scoot those legs up. Get to the edge more. Butt to the edge of the coping more. That's it. That way it's easier to hop in. Perfect. Hey. <laughs> Grab that coping, scoot to the edge, give it a big hop. Perfect. So look, starting to build trust in those knee pads already, right? Remember landing here. Big run, big slide. See, nice and smooth. Good. Take your deep breath, toes over the edge, knee slide in. Good. Spread your feet out wide, wider. Okay, bend those knees a lot. Bend down nice and low. Remember, take your deep breath. You drop to the knees, I'll, run, I'll go down with you. One, two, three, to the knees. Perfect, good. The goal of this is for you to land your knee pads as high up on the ramp as possible under the coping. If you hit the coping, you'll flip in, right? The reason why the toes are over the edge is so is so you don't catch your toes on the top. Because if you moved your feet back and you dropped your knees, you'll start to go in and then your feet will still be up here and catch and that flip you in. So you want your toes to be over the edge like a diving board. Toes over the edge, spread the feet out, start to bend down low and let yourself drop to your knees. One, two, three, big drop. Good, good, don't grab it. Just hand on top of my hand. One, two, three, knee slide. Good, 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 dude. See? Knee pads. So, you'll watch You'll watch now that he learns this. It becomes fun and it'll turn into um, his safety mechanism and he'll start to build trust in those knee pads which will just turn him into a ninja because he, he won't have to waste any energy on running out or, or bailing. He'll just be able to relax and just drop to his knees and slide. Let the knee pads do the work. See, there you go. And yeah, now the trust is in the knee pads and typically you can't get people to run down that if they don't have the pads on. And and the, the pads also allow for a low center of gravity so that you, if you do fall to your hip or anything, you're already so low that you don't get hurt as bad. Two, three, straight to the knees and relax. Good, wow. Perfect. 
you're gonna spin your chest forward, lean your head over your front foot, step off with your back foot, back foot comes off, and you step off of your back foot into a knee slide. So slow motion, it's gonna look like this. Skating, chest forward, lean forward, back foot comes off, and into a knee slide. Okay. Let me see. You're gonna go really fast, and then when you get to the flat bottom, pass the drain, then knee slide. Fast, fast, fast. Come on, Avi. That's too slow. Bigger pump. Come on, faster, faster, faster. Bigger pump. Never press when you ride right down. Big press. So now you're getting the idea, right? So you don't have to use energy to run anymore. No matter how fast you go, you lean forward, step off, and slide. And that'll save you. High five. Good job. Ready? I do it by myself this time. All right, you better go fast then. Come on. Good job.